You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my review for A Real Pain. Now, before we get into this review, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. So A Real Pain is the third and final film I will be watching through the 2024 Sundance Online program. I do really appreciate that Sundance has continued to provide some sort of opportunity for movie fans that don't have the means to get out to Utah to see some of these films. Now, of course, I wish some of the other films would have been included on the program. I easily would have spent probably near $200 on tickets <laughs> if some of those in-person screenings had just become available to me online However, I do appreciate that they still have a nice selection. There are a lot of films still offered, even if they tend to keep the most hyped talked about of those to the in-person only. But one thing that is nice is the opportunity to see what those watching consider to be the best, as all of the award-winning films do get put online as well as in person, and that's how I was able to see A Real Pain. So, A Real Pain is a 2024 comedy drama, both written and directed by Jesse Eisenberg, who also stars in the film alongside Kieran Culkin. The film follows a pair of cousins who travel to Poland after their grandmother passes away to see where they came from and end up joining and connecting on a Holocaust tour. In addition to Eisenberg and Culkin, the film does also star Will Forte and Jennifer Grey. So this is Jesse Eisenberg's second film as a writer-director, though this time he's actually starring in his film as well. So while it wasn't one that was necessarily on my radar heading into Sundance Film Festival, hearing the buzz about it throughout the festival, seeing some reviews coming out, hearing my friends talk about how much they enjoyed the film, I was so happy that an opportunity popped up for me to get the chance to see it for myself. But other than... It starred Jesse Eisenberg and Culkin. I knew pretty much nothing about the film. Just that little picture that I saw on the Sundance website. And ultimately, oh, I'm so glad I did get the opportunity to check this one out because I really, really enjoyed A Real Pain. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. Well, I want to kick things off with our two lead actors because I think they both do a stellar job in this film. Jesse Eisenberg turns in possibly my favorite performance I've ever seen from him, in honesty. We are all used to kind of the Jesse Eisenberg style. He's a very niche, specific actor. You bring on projects knowing what he's going to offer. And I thought this film really utilized that, but toned it down in a way I hadn't seen as often. He has this awkward charm to him that we've all seen, but it's a really vulnerable and personable performance from Eisenberg that I thought was really, really strong. And then we have Kieran Culkin, who plays his kind of disturbed yet charming cousin, and he's truly magnetic in the film. You can't really take your eyes off of him. And the two of them play off each other so well to create this beautiful dynamic. They honestly felt like family <laughs> in the film. And it was a really believable relationship that really just worked so well. And I also have to give it up to Eisenberg as a screenwriter and a director. I think he nailed it on every single front here. This is a razor sharp screenplay. I thought the dialogue was really well written. It's funny, it's biting, but also emotional. It feels real, it feels authentic. You really understand and in many ways can likely relate to, at some level, this family dynamic and relationship. Yet, I love that, yes, it's about these two cousins and their bond and their experience, but it also opens up to this broader sense of 
history and obviously taps into Jewish heritage in a really lovely way. It never feels forced. There's never like this manipulative emotion being pulled out of you. Eisenberg as a director does such a great job of just letting the open space speak, letting the audience kind of feel with our characters as we embark on this heavy journey and brings up some really interesting topics along the way. All around, it's wonderfully handled by Eisenberg as a filmmaker as well as an actor. I found our side characters to all be really interesting as well, and they obviously lend to the different perspectives and the different dynamics that we get. And the film does a lot with just an hour, 30 minutes of runtime. It packs a real emotional punch. It has a lot of development throughout I never felt bored. I never feel like my mind wandered off or that any of the space wasn't utilized. And yet, in a film that's dealing with a heavier topic, dealing with a lot of dialogue, a lot of information being thrown in, history, as well as a current day type of relationship, it didn't feel short. I didn't feel short-handed. I don't feel like I needed an extra 10 minutes anywhere. No, it felt like a perfect length. It's a beautifully paced film and showcases that yes we can still get heavy meaningful topics and dramas character studies at a breezy pace when they are paced well and a real pain is exactly that the location of filming in poland was beautiful you could just feel the respect from eisenberg and our entire crew here and it strikes that wonderful balance of like feel good dramedy that's what it delivers, and it delivers it very, very well. So then, what doesn't work so well when it comes to a real pain? Well, I think there are just some weird moments throughout the film that either are just kind of there, and I expected them to loop back around to something meaningful, or I wanted more there. Or I just feel like I wanted to know more backstory. There's something to do with feet in this film, Jesse Eisenberg's feet specifically. I don't know why it's in here. <laughs> uh, knowing that he's the writer and director, I'm just like, does Jesse Eisenberg, did he just want like an opportunity to be like, I have pretty feet? It was very weird. And it was weird that the characters in the movie really like brought attention to it and then we actually revisit it through Eisenberg's character more than once and I was just like what what why this is I don't I just we could have done something else to convey I don't know whatever you're trying to convey because honestly it just came across as strange rather than any sort of meaningful moment and then we get moments with Kieran's character that we allude to so much of who he is as a person and they allude to you know like troubled person or this or that they have this huge discussion about it actually and it really does kind of like leave you wanting to know more about this person which is kind of within his character his magnetic charm and you get to just experience him through that same lens as the other characters but it did just kind of open the door to be like, what? what is his deal? Like, what is going on with this man, you know? And if you are someone who only enjoys films, if they have a strong kind of narrative, a strong plot, this may be a little bit meandering for you because it's one of those where you're here really for the experience. There is a plot. We are moving through a tour and getting a tour of Poland. However, the plot is really just to get these characters together and experience them and their dynamic. Now, I had no problem with that personally. I actually loved it. I love films that are set up like this. I loved their dynamic. Thankfully, Searchlight Pictures picked this up, so it has a distribution on the way. They snagged it from Sundance for $10 million. And honestly, I think Searchlight is a really, really good fit for a film like A Real Pain. However, that does mean... Oh, we don't know what kind of promo it's going to get heading up to release. We don't know what they're going to do, how long it's going to take for Searchlight to get this film out to theaters. And then when it does, it's probably going to be in like 500. So you're going to have to keep your eyes peeled for a real pain. But at least we know there will be an opportunity to view this down the line. And I highly recommend it. I think this is the type of feel good, kind of depressing, but still funny kind of heartwarming but still sarcastic dramedy well written well acted well directed from top to bottom i just think a real pain is a winner
So that is my review for A Real Pain. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see A Real Pain or did you also get an opportunity to check this one out at Sundance? Let me know all of your thoughts either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.